up and taking pictures? Do you know that sometimes people follow movie stars around all day to take pictures of them? I wonder what that would be like. Oh, guess what? The other day, I saw a picture of one of my favorite movie stars and she looks sad. Aww. I thought, if you're famous, then everyone likes you forever. But it doesn't always work like that. I am lucky to have so many wonderful friends here in Callie's world. You are one of them. Thanks for being my pal. But you know what? Lately, I started feeling like my brother doesn't like me very much. Oh no! I know! I know! He's family, so he has to love me. But sometimes it seems like he doesn't like having me as a sister. It's probably not super fun having a big sister who gets to go first and doesn't play with him very much. What do you think I should do to get him to like me better? Because, yeah, he, he bothers me sometimes, but I really, really like my little brother. He makes me laugh all the time. He's totally crazy and runs around the house being so silly. And he's kind of famous at our church for saying really, really funny things too. Everybody likes him and, oh no. What if he doesn't think I'm cool enough to hang out with him anymore? I really want him and his friends to like me. Maybe learning about the Bible story today will help. It's time for our Bible story. Have you ever tried really hard to get a teacher's attention? Have you ever been in a dance recital or sang a song at school for your parents? Have you ever made something really cool that you wanted to show your friends? You really want them to say, hey, you were great. But sometimes we don't feel good or we can't keep up or we make mistakes. And then we get sad because we didn't impress the people we wanted to. Well, want to know a secret? Here it is. You don't have to try to make anyone think you are awesome. God already thinks you are. Solomon knew this better than anybody. Solomon was a good king. He built an amazing space for God because he was so grateful to God. The space Solomon built was called a temple. God gave Solomon great wisdom and all the guidance Solomon had asked for. Solomon could have been really impressed with himself. Instead, he was impressed with God. God was so incredible. The queen from a place called Sheba had heard about Solomon and came to visit him. She wanted to see if Solomon was really as wise and rich as people told her, if he really was as great as everyone said. The queen of Sheba was a pretty important person, so Solomon probably wanted to impress her. But Solomon knew that everything he had in his life was because of God. That made him feel happy and okay with whatever happened in his life. He didn't have to try to get people to like him because he knew God always loved him. So Solomon didn't try and impress the queen. Instead, he was just himself. As it turned out, the queen found Solomon to be just as great as she had heard. But what if she didn't? It still wouldn't change who Solomon was. He was who God made him to be. And whether the queen liked him or not, it wouldn't change that. The same is true for you. Every day we can be confident that God loves us. We are exactly who God wants us to be, like Solomon was too. Some people will like you and some people won't. It's okay, nothing is wrong with you. It might not feel good at first, but just remember, when you're loved by God, you don't need to be liked by everyone.
not a good feeling at all when you find out someone doesn't like you. I don't have all the answers to that one. But maybe we can be like Solomon. We can stop worrying about who likes us or how many people like us. We can just focus on the most important somebody who loves us, God. Remember I was telling you about my little brother? I was worried that he doesn't like me all that much. But after hearing today's Bible story, I feel a little silly. Of course my little brother loves me, and I'm pretty sure his friends like me too. But even if they didn't, I know that God thinks I'm pretty special, and that's enough for me. People's feelings about us change all the time, but God's love never changes. And when you're loved by God, you don't need to be liked by everyone. Yeah, you are so loved. I am so loved. We are so loved. Alrighty then, it's time to sign off for today. Have the best week ever. Bye, friends.